Hi friends, strangers, internet. My name is Emily. I love colorful language and colorful makeup, especially green makeup. And uh, I want to welcome you to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. Now, your timing is perfect because it's time again for another episode of New Makeup Nonsense Bingo! Bah, bah, bah. So, New Makeup Nonsense Bingo, complete with air horns, is a video that I do in collaboration with two of my closest friends and some of the most badass creators and creative people in general. I created this concept with Teresa of Teresa is Dead and would feel like pretty soon after Audra of Audra at Home joined us in this party. We upload every Monday or about every Monday with the new makeup nonsense bingo, which is one part drinking game, one part bingo game, and one part new makeup release video. And then on alternating Mondays, we have the hangover, which has no bingo cards and has no libations. So, you know, we're always here with some shit to say. Now, with the bingo, we all pull from the same pile of releases and we pull in a random order. So what I like to do is show you all of the possible releases because if there's anything I don't get to talk about today that you're interested in, you get to tag me in the comments or on Instagram and let me know and I will take care of it in the hangover. But anyway, 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 the other part of this is that Audra and Teresa upload videos at the same time. So if you have not seen theirs yet, it will be linked in the description box, along with bingo cards, a community playlist, and hashtags in case you're a creator watching and feeling inspired. You're invited to play along at any time, at any point. Upload whatever you want. Find me on the internet and I will add you your video to the playlist once it's live. Okay, before we jump into the possible releases that we're going to talk about. Uh, I'm going to remind you that if you like colorful makeup, if you like bitches with lots of opinions, or you just like cute fat babes, that uh, I would love to have you as a new subscriber to on my channel, to my on my channel, on my channel. That's how I can say that. Cheers, and uh, let's get this shit show going. random release that we have for today is the NYX Cosmetics X Fate Wink Saga online exclusive release. I remember now with the name, I remember talking about this before, but there is a duo highlighter, there are fairy glosses, and there is a palette. The glosses are 9, the highlighter is 15, but this monstrosity of a palette is 24. $5. And I'm calling it a monstrosity because basically Audra covered all of the important points in uh, their hangover video last week. It's just, there is so, so, so much wasted space. I also personally think that the fairy wing interior actually detracts from any attempt at a color story in here, yeah, I just can't 
be bothered to care or even feel strongly. It's just, it's not cute. It's just not cute. And it honestly feels very same shit, new packaging. Shit that Nyx has already had that they've just repackaged in some very attempt at cuteness. Like, I'm I'm not going to deny that the highlighter is cute, but I don't need it. I don't, it's not tempting. Anyway, yeah, same shit, new packaging. Also, I'm drinking an iced Irish coffee today. What are you imbibing in if you are drinking with me? Whiskey, iced coffee, and vanilla syrup. Heaven. Gonna scrub my brain of what I just saw. <laughs> so, Makeup Revolution has the Revolution X Game of Thrones collection. Now, if you don't know, there is a new show called House of Dragons that is on as somebody that attempted to ride out the whole wave of um, the HBO travesty. Fuck you. We're not doing that again. And this collection is like, okay, so there is this like fiery palette and there's this icy palette. I have seen these before, either with previous collabs or previous releases, literally repackaged shit. And then there's the giant map of Westeros palette. And it, I, 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 and like, look, the one thing I'm gonna give them, they have a throne uh, beauty sponge holder if you were still somehow emotionally connected to this, this, what is this? I guess IP. The throne thing is, is cute, but like if you were traumatized and regretful like myself, absolutely the fuck not. Yeah. If I trusted Makeup Revolution quality, I might even say that the dark liquid lippies or things like that look interesting, but it's so, it's such a fucking, like, it, their, their makeup is a mind fuck because I have seen and interacted with some, like, decent to good stuff from them and also some fucking terrible stuff. And their brand is so giant that I just, I don't know what I'm getting into. So I'm going to leave this up to anybody that still cares about Game of Thrones and Makeup Revolution. But uh, I think I've shared my trauma enough with y'all. So next up we have an indie release. Sugar Drizzle has released, I think it's their first all matte palette. Um, it's a 20 pan palette and it was called, like the first thing I saw about it was it's called the matte preg, pressed, preg, pressed pigment palette. And then it was revealed. Uh, it's gonna be available on the 17th and I, it's just, it's, it's, I want to be excited, but it's very oversized in my opinion and redundant. And I understand when you're a lover of a specific color, you might, you know, be okay with having some redundancies. So for the purple lovers, I hope that this is exactly what you dream of it. Actually, I am a purple lover, but I just feel like this would have been such a beautiful like nine pan or 12 pan. Um, I saw somebody isolate the bottom left nine pan and I was like, see, that's fucking gorgeous. And I would have bought that. But at 20 pans and with that much closeness. I understand the concept of like these are all different but truly when you start playing with them on your skin it can be very easy for 
two, three, four colors that look different to really just mesh into like one to two colors. So anyway, it's pretty, but as somebody that like, it, it's just, it's not, it's not for me. Uh, like I said, if you release that nine pan or like a nine pan green and yellow one or something, maybe I'd be tempted. But for me personally, when I think of Sugar Drizzle, I think of their shimmers. And so I'm, I'm not, I'm not wowed. I don't say this in an insulting way at all. Pretend the brand name doesn't even exist on the square. I just think it's a little oversized for what it could be. Love you, Sugar Drizzle. I still, you know, still excited about what you do. Just not right now. Okay, awkward moment over. Except I'm always awkward, so. Oh. Oh, okay. Let's. Let's talk about this. What'll I do? What'll I do? What an unusual view. There is a new collection with One Size Beauty and Disney. This collection has a face and eye palette for $50, a point made or $49, a point made waterproof liquid eyeliner pen for $19, a highlighter for $36, a dual ended lip snatcher lipstick lip gloss for 28 complexion brush for 34 and the mickey puff for 16. i just i the reason why i haven't told you what specific title this is in collaboration with is because it fucking hurts my soul. This is a Fantasia collaboration. Excuse me, where the fuck is Fantasia in this collaboration? Fantasia is one of the trippiest movies I've ever seen. And I'm not saying it's trippy for Disney. I'm saying it is a fucking trippy movie. I'm not the type to think when things are odd or things are quaint, but seeing things you know that ain't to certainly give you a lot of price. What a sight. Now, 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 I could be, my, my, my perspective is painted by the fact that that was a movie that was one of the Disney movies that we had on cassette as a kid because old bitch cassettes. And for some reason, it was the kind of movie that would just get put on like late at night. And I don't know if this was my parents' attempt to get us to go the fuck to bed. I can't remember 100% like if it was like when, I, I'm sure some of the time was like when we were entertaining and it was just like, okay, well this movie is long, let's just put this on the TV. And even if the kids don't pay attention to it, at least it's something. I, but for some reason, it was a movie that I probably saw in bits and pieces like millions of times. I mean, I'm exaggerating, but I would say at least a thousand times, at least in bits and pieces. I can stand the sight of worms and look at microscopic germs, but technicolor pachyderms is really too much for me. <laughs> so like as a kid watching that, yeah, I probably did think it was trippier than like the fucking Little Mermaid or whatever. But this is such a beige color. What, what is this palette? The highlighter is like cute or whatever. I, uh, but this, this pal and 50 doll and one side, what the, I, I, I have like nothing funny to say 
But like y'all should have taken some psychedelics before designing this because this looks like wine mom's creation, not fucking Fantasia. I'm afraid nature ain't the elephant's on parade. It is actually insulting. I'm I'm um I'm, I'm, I'm cheating the system a little bit. Um I forgot that I had a makeup revolution go away square, so I'm moving the Game of Thrones to that square. And then we're giving the Fantasia release, the uh collaboration with somebody not known for their makeup. Cheaters in the house. Whoa! So, Sean Sakai has revealed their holiday 2022 collection. And this includes the Sean Sakai Lotus Blossom Radiant Blush, their uh, Lotus Radiant Powder, their Perfect Blur Glow Powder, and then the Lip Crystal and Pink Opal. Seems like the Lotus is, is the tying theme. Now, this gives me more spring aesthetically than holiday for me personally, but also, look, Sean Zakai, you have a bit of a reputation in the beauty space, especially I guess the creator beauty space of, you know, not maybe seeming to care about people that don't have like NC35 skin or lighter. And this holiday collection does nothing to push against that reputation. Okay, 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 okay. I can't avoid this anymore. Speaking of giving us nothing. <laughs> Speaking of giving us nothing, Dior, what the fuck? Uh, Dior has revealed the new or released the new Five Colors Couture Palette and it's limited edition. So if you want four pans of the same shade and a black, you better grab it now before it's gone. Like what? The, okay. The, it's it's called, I guess, Golden Bouquet. Natural beige and golden shades around a deep brown for $65. Now, dual pricing is dual pricing. But what the fuck? How did this make it to market? From indie to luxury and everywhere in between. I need you to start trying to put multiple colors on your eyes when you're releasing palettes that are this close in tone because you bitches that put one shadow on and call it a day, I'm sure are like, oh, these are different. There's finite differences in finish and texture in each one. Shut the fuck up. It is the same shade four times over. If you wanna prove me wrong, prove me wrong. I'm not gonna watch any reviews, but uh, you can DM me your proof or something. But I, it, it even disgraces an Anne palette to call it a total Anne palette, but that's what we're calling it. But what the fuck? I know I roasted a ton forward last week for this shit too, or two weeks ago, whatever. What? Dior has done some beautiful quints. They do basic bitch ones too. They have done some beautiful ones that seem very like thought out. And then it's this. So we're gonna stick on this luxury train. Uh, Givenchy has released their holiday 2022 collection 
They have uh, two lipsticks and a Prism Libre loose powder. And this looks fine. I mean, I'm going to, here, I'm going to give them this. I think this is pretty holiday kind of like, you know, just like icy, snowy holiday theming. Um, I'm not a huge silver fan myself, so like I'm not particularly drawn to it. And I don't know if I necessarily feel like the cushion silver feels luxurious, but the lip colors are pretty. I will say those are very Emily, like my kind of basic bitch colors, but I'm just, I'm not like, you know, it's, it's not like grabbing me in that way, but they're pretty and it's more holiday bullshit. So I get the center square on the card. Woo! I feel like all my attempts at little exclamations have been awkward or weak or both. I saw this image in the folder and um Tony Moly, you're too fucking cute. Okay, so Tony Moly has released holiday stuff. It's two new flavors of the jelly lip melt they have a peppermint or candy cane one and a gingerbread man one will repl will will replenish dry and cracked lips leaving them plump and hydrated all day long in innovative formula bouncy like a jelly cake but melts into a smooth nourishing lip oil with a glossy finish and it's about twelve dollars Ginger Snap and Candy Cane are the flavor names. I, the way I fluctuate from being attracted by like super high end or luxury stuff to like fucking Tony Moly always makes me giggle, I guess. I have to say, I think these are cute. I also have some nostalgic memories of like being introduced to jelly candies, like the, the jelly pod candies that you would typically find at like Asian supermarkets as like a kid, maybe it was middle school, maybe it was elementary school. And it was such a fun novelty candy and it was nothing like I had experienced. So when I saw this packaging, I was like, excuse the fuck out of you, Tony Moly. I kinda want one. I don't actually know if I want either of these flavors or scents, but now that I know they exist, I might have to pick up one sometime in the future because that is so fucking cute. It's so fucking cute to me. Um, I'm going to give this a food release, but like, is it just me? Is this cute to anybody else? I feel like it's adorable. And then you'd have these little, like, you'd have this little container at the end because I'm really going to like keep a random container and use it for something else because that's the delusions of cute shit lovers. So many unexpected feelings. Okay, let's get into it. Kylie Cosmetics has a second round collab with Mama Kris Jenner. This has, this collection has a lip serum, a matte lip crayon set, a blush and highlighter cheek duo, a pressed powder palette, and a Curatini under eye patches. And it's available September 14th. The thing about this, so I had to, I was like, who the fuck is this? Like, what is this release? I couldn't tell what was happening here. And then I zoomed in and I'm like, what are these eyeshadow pans? And I realized that they are olives. Did I have it in my, like, makeup trend bingo card that Kylie Cosmetics would be the brand that does like fucking olive shaped and embossed pans. N -n -n Glam Light is who I would have assumed would do this. It's absolutely a very basic bitch palette with like some pretty looking shimmers thrown in there, but there is something so fucking ridiculous about the fact that they are olives and they're like kind of weirdly laid out and there's definitely like weird empty space. I hate it, but I respect it. 
respect it? Question mark. Yeah, I don't respect the Jenners, Kardashians at all. But it's like so bad. It's I guess it's kind of like them. But I don't I don't keep up with them. So I'm not even gonna say their show is so bad. It's good. This is just it's it's fucking weird. But also, can they go away? Can they just, can we just have a life without them? But like, is, is anyone else, I'm, I am so confused. But also, olives, green olives, are fucking delicious. Audra, I think you would agree with me. I know you love olives. Now I can't remember if it's black or green olives that you love. Anyway, um, food love aside, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, go away, go away, Kardashians, Jenners, just, just, just leave us alone. I, okay, um, yeah, um, so, Hip Dot is back with a collaboration no one asked for, or maybe some people did ask for. I actually don't fucking know. So uh, there is a new collection. It's available for pre-order now, and it will ship between December and January. Okay, it's Hip Dot X Mighty Nine, and that's N-E-I-N. It's a collector's box, so I think you can only buy the whole collection, and there is an Eyes of Nine pigment palette, a Mighty Nine lipstick set with three lipsticks, and a Mighty Nine highlighter. The lipsticks look like liquid. Like, I don't know if they're a set down or they're just like liquid, but they're in a, you know, tube with a doe foot. The highlighter is embossed with, I guess, what is... I mean... I, I, I only count seven, but I guess, oh wait, nine, it's not nine. I don't, I don't, but anyway, it has a very detailed looking embossing. Oh, no, the lipsticks are bullet lipsticks because they also have embossing on them. And then the eyeshadow palette is weirdly repetitive. It's, it's weirdly repetitive. There's like a, a white, a silver, a lavender that looks almost like silver, a black, and I mean, I don't know. It's a choice. It's a little eight pan. I think this is Dungeon and Dragons related. I think. Let me let me look because I saw somebody else post about it and I was like, what the fuck is that? Okay, so this collection is inspired by Critical Roles, The Mighty Nine, and the Fletchling and Moondrop Traveling Carnival of Curiosities. And I actually, this is, this is, I don't hate this. So I believe that um, the, uh, that Critical Role is a Dungeons and, uh, whoa, that's hard to say, a Dungeons and Dragons role play podcast. And if we're gonna talk about like magic and fantasy and of all the things that like <coughs> ColourPop and Makeup Revolution and everybody has released, I'm okay with this, weirdly. I have no idea what the quality is like because I don't know with Hip Dot, but like weirdly I'm okay with it. Does anybody listen to um, Critical Role or know about this release or, I'm not a D and D player. I wouldn't be against it. It's just never been a part of my world. Part of that world. But it's like I, I, I don't, I don't hate this. I, I I'm ah. Uh, uh. gonna say that it's a bundle deal that no one wants because I feel like 
I feel like I'm more intrigued by the lipsticks and the highlighters than the eyeshadow. And I understand that it's a whole shebang in this box and everything. But it would be cool if you could pre-order the other pieces. Um, and it's $86, which feels kind of like a big investment. But anyway, I came into this product being like, what the fuck is this? And I'm just like, oh, okay. I kind of like these choices. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's a very luxury heavy week, but Chanel has released or is releasing uh, new blushes. They have these new tweed blushes. There are nine shades pictured. I don't know. I don't know, but I know that Chanel recently released some quads and they came in a little tweed, like, you know, protective bag. And I thought, like, I know it's something small and it's a really, like, really simple thing because you can make those with fabric scraps, like, once patterns have been cut. So it literally costs them probably nothing. But, like, as somebody, for me as somebody that doesn't buy a ton of luxury makeup, if the, like, full experience is enjoyable, that really adds to it. Now, I'm not, I, part of me is like put it on my face and the other part of me is like, we're just gonna wait and see. Definitely gonna wait and see. Um, I know that in the past, past that the blushes were beloved and then I know that they've, they got reformulated and were less loved. Uh, I am intrigued to see the impossible pan embossing or like what's happening. Let's just say this blush slut is interested and uh, slutty drunk me would definitely buy this. Look, you can put all the Swarovski crystals you want. It doesn't cover up a mediocre lipstick formula. What am I talking about here? Well, Fenty is making these uh, fifth anniversary limited edition collector piece lipstick cases. Uh, there are only a hundred available. It's a, they will be available September 12th, which I believe is when you're seeing this video. It is the 5th Anniversary Edition Swarovski Crystal Case, dripped in 975 hand-applied gems. Each gem has been hand-applied so that each case is truly one of a kind. That's kind of understood with hand-applied, but okay. I just, look, I have, okay, I am team refillable lipstick. I am team like pretty lipstick cases that are refillable, that are special. But I have not particularly heard rave reviews about the Fenty formula. So I feel like, um, step up your formula and then try to sell me out of $500 for a case. I also just personally, I actually don't love the aesthetic of this kind of Swarovski application. I don't know if it's like the very geometricness of the case or what, but it doesn't like, I know it's luxurious and I'm sure in person it reads different, but I just, ugh, come the fuck on. And this to me is like the definition of, of pretty embossing basic makeup. Beautiful package to some, beautiful to some. But like, if the lipstick that it's refillable with is not actually that great, why? Why would I do that? Can, okay, can, can somebody tell me why Kylie's face palette is giving me major copycat vibes to Natasha Denona. So Kylie 
the second time in the video, Joy, has released what looks like their holiday collection. There is a reindeer liquid lipstick. Oh! For $150, you can get five of the matte liquid lipsticks and four of the high gloss glosses. Uh, there's an ornament for 17. There is a, a, a an ornament for six. I don't know. Uh, and then there there is the blush and highlighter palette for 40 that has bl blushes and highlighters. It looks like kind of like two blushes, two highlighters. I think. Um, I don't. <sighs> <sighs> like this is this is whatever, but I think there's something about like like is this the same component that Natasha Denona uses? Because all I can see is the Natasha Denona face quads, and while I have sat here before and been like I I maybe I haven't said it out loud, I have felt like oh I would love more like nicely designed face quads, and I feel like that packaging from Natasha Denona is nice. I wasn't asking for it from Kylie. Anyway, I'm just calling this major copycat. I isn't. Just, I'm already bored by holiday stuff, and it's barely September, y'all. I this is the, sorry if I'm a Grinch, but I kind of have made my brand to be a Grinch, and it, it's just who I am as a person. Um, I have to, uh, drool over Janessa Myricks and the newest Lightwork palette. So the Lightworks Volume 4 Transcendent palette, it is the same format as her original Lightworks, or her Lightworks 3 palette, where you have, uh, five smaller pans, four big pans, and five smaller pans again. This 14 pan palette is made up of glass metallics, velvet slash aqua chrome, and chrome flakes. And it's, a, oh God, it's available September 13th. So I mistakenly, and by mistakenly, I mean, I should have known better than to tempt myself, but I watched the live stream that Danessa and her assistant did, uh, revealing, like swatching this palette. And when I first saw it, I was like, oh, it's fine, it's whatever. Like, it's pretty, but it's not for me. But then so many of the multi-chromes in here are a green shifting multi-chrome. I already showed you how many green single eyeshadows I have. I obviously don't need this, but Danessa just excites me. Now, Am I actually super excited about like the press chrome flakes or the two water activated like metallic pans? I'm not sure. I feel like the press chrome flakes are kind of an iffy choice on the brand's part in terms of longevity. But goddamn. Like, and the glass metallic, she has a silver one and a gold one, and they're like, she referenced Milky Way. Her color fix is like, a, it's like a, a press form of that. I just, truly, Danessa excites me as a brand and as a makeup artist. And the brand does their damn thing in terms of having fat employees, fat swatch arms, which if you didn't ever realize how rare those are, let me tell you, they're fucking rare. So, uh, I want this palette. Not buying it anytime soon, but if you were ever looking at, you know, gifting me something, I'm accepting gifts. Okay, uh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I... I know that the first Lightworks palette didn't really stay around long term, so, you know. I, I also want to say, even though I'm excited by it, I think that if you are a multi-chrome owner already, this palette may not add that much to your life. It's an, it's, it's a, the palette is $125, so it is an expensive thing. It's a luxury purchase in that way, and, uh, I'm just being a clown in how I'm going gaga over it, but like realistically 
for a lot of you multi-crumb lovers already. If you're a green lover, you probably have things that dupe this out. Uh, I, I am just a clown and if you could ever call me, like I try not to be a stan for any brand, but I'm sure I've said this like multiple times on my channel. I get real fucking close with the Justin Myricks. Real close. So I'm gonna say, put it on my face, please. <laughs> so weird ass video. Okay, y'all. I, mm, uh, this, I, okay, let me just actually attempt to speak words. So, uh, Tula Skincare has a new collaboration. They have this cleansing body exfoliator that's $36. Um, and it's in collaboration with Magnolia Bakery, which is an overrated New York bakery. They, they are overrated. They are, their cupcakes are super sweet and not very special. The, the funny thing, or the, it's gross and it's funny. This is a banana pudding cleansing body exfoliator. And so when I saw this, like when I was scrolling and I see banana pudding and a skincare tube, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Um, yeah, so it's in collaboration with New York's iconic Magnolia Bakery, this in-shower body exfoliator with the mouth-watering scent of the bake shop's famous banana pudding, deeply cleanse and buff away dull skin with lemon peel and banana and has a blend of three AHAs and it's available now. I will say their banana pudding is good. It's, it's still a really sweet to me, but it's good. Banana pudding might be one of the only ways I actually like bananas. So there's also part of me that's like the banana scents. I'm like, Ooh. no, I just, <sighs> no, no. And Magnolia, <laughs> overrated. Ex New Yorker with a big sweet tooth and bakery experience. There are so many better bakeries than Magnolia. Yeah, so, you know, I'm a hater. It's also both even more skincare and she doesn't go here. So either way, I've hit motherfucking bingo being a, a hater on Magnolia, although now fucking craving banana pudding or just pudding in general. Now I'm just babbling, just being weird on the internet, being weird on the internet, let's enunciate. Which, I mean, if you've been here before, you're probably used to, and if you're new here and you made it this far, cheers to you, motherfucker. Anyway, we've hit bingo, we've talked about a lot of releases, and uh, I'm gonna call it a day. And I hope you enjoyed yet another edition of New Makeup Month with Bingo. As a reminder, if there is anything that I did not talk about from that pile of photos that you saw, tag me or leave me a comment, but also tag me on Instagram for any releases that I didn't talk about or that come out between the time you're seeing this video, basically from Friday to the, wow, where's our heart? You saw the photos at the beginning of the video. If there's anything from that pile of photos that I did not talk about that you would like to hear my opinion, leave me a comment. And if there's anything that has come out from September 9th until about the 15th that you would like me to talk about in The Hangover, tag me on Instagram because I will bookmark that and I will give you my thoughts and my opinions. Anyway. I'm going to go. Thank you so much for hanging out. 
thank you to my patrons and my channel members. I would love to have people join that space, those spaces, if you feel so inspired. But most importantly, take care of yourself better today than you did yesterday because you are worth it and I will hear nothing different. Bye friends. Mwah!